my parents said the idea of tech camp. I wasn't really quite enthusiastic, but once I got here, I got a lot more excited about it. Hey, how are you? I have a brother, and he usually codes. So my dad, he wanted me to code, but then I was just like, no, only guys do it. I think a lot of what puts some kids off from coding, especially girls, is that it's something they haven't been told they can do. This campus specifically started for girls to involve all of you in technology. It's just really cool to be around a group of girls who have interest in technology just like you do. Mm -hmm. My name's Daria and I like whales. I like, I like whales, I'm about that. <laughs> I'm really good. We do a lot of icebreaker games, which get us to make new friends easily. So you guys have met your instructors. We got Emily, Sarah, Ruby, Jamie, and Sequoia. Ooh, All right, ready? I think okay. One, two, three, Alexa! All right, now head out with Sequoia. Who's excited for this week? Yeah! Woo! So exciting. The world is made with tiny bits with invisible stuff and weightless things. The world is made with DNA, drawn together into tigers and cathedrals and snow cones. The world is made with bits of language, letters and spaces and numbers, organizing nations and brunch and love. The world is made with you, unreplicable, particular you, who are made with tiny bits and words strung together you whose effect can be enormous, life-changing, history-making, world-better-making. The code to change is also made with tiny bits and bites drawn together. To dig wells, to share a joke with millions, to get directions. You are a girl who understands bits exist to be assembled. And when you learn to code, you can assemble anything that you see missing. And in so doing, you will fix something. Or change something or invent something, or run something. And maybe that's how you will play your bit in this world. When I first heard about coding, I thought it was some thing that you saw in the movies where you're in a dark room with big nerdy glasses and you're just staring at a screen and it just was super complicated. This week we're gonna teach you Lightroom, Photoshop, Illustrator, and Muse. We're gonna learn Scratch and we're gonna learn Java. Our goal is to, you know, sort of get you to have fun with code. I believe it's a very creative endeavor. If you have ever heard of Minecraft, Minecraft runs on Java. And so all of this stuff is very real world application. So what you're gonna do is you guys are gonna find one of the fun little examples that Scratch has open and I want you to change it a little bit. And then we're gonna have you know a presentation and you're gonna say which game that you found that you liked, how you changed it, and what you ended up liking about it. I'm gonna give you about five minutes to do that. So what's your name? Sonja, what's your name? From Zoe. Cool, nice to meet you. There we go. Oh, Look, and now it's gonna be invisible. Oh, Sounds like a dinosaur. No, it was... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh shoot, what did I just do? Everyone sort of, you know, gets to stand up and gather around. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think I with that the ghost. And there's something game. with it. And then I added a bunch of things. Like I added the dog and this girl named Anna and the wizard. <laughs> so basically I added a monkey. And the monkey says good job. And then I made them both smaller. I did the remix, this dance, and you can like click the arrows to dance. I thought code was really boring, but now it's like really fun, and I find it really creative. So what we're gonna do today is also something called Shock Shatter. You guys will get to share on this chalkboard your responses to a specific question that's listed or an idea. made with tiny bits, with invisible stuff and weightless things. The world is made with DNA, drawn together into tigers and cathedrals